my name is Lexi. I'm from Blue Oaks Church in Pleasanton. Today we're going to talk about pruning and the secret to producing beautiful roses. But before we do that, let's sing a few songs. We're going to sing It Is Well With My Soul. When peace like a river attendeth my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my life Thou hast taught me to say It is well, it is well with my soul It is well with my soul glorious day my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross where I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord oh my soul it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. We're going to do this little light of mine. Next, we're going to sing uh, When We All Get to Heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we We'll sing and shout the victory While we walk the pilgrim's pathway Clouds will overspread the sky But when traveling days are over Not a shadow, not a sigh When we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all Trusting, serving every day Just one glimpse of Him in glory Will the toils of life repay When we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Once again, when we all day of rejoicing that will be when we all 
We're going to sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for I so long ago, taking children on his knee and saying, let them come to me. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gate to open wide, he will wash away. Sin. The Bible welcome in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Next, we're going to sing On Christ the Solid Rock. My hope is built on nothing less Than Jesus' blood and righteousness No merit of my own I claim But wholly lean on Jesus' name On Christ the solid rock I stand All other ground is sinking sand All other ground is sinking sand Long appears my toilsome race I rest on His unchanging grace In every high and stormy gale My anchor holds within the veil On Christ the solid rock I stand All other ground is sinking sand All other ground is sinking sand the last trumpet voice shall sound Oh may we then in him be found Raised in his righteousness alone Faultless to stand before the throne On Christ the solid rock I stand All other ground is sinking sand All other ground is sinking sand John 15, 1-5 I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that does not pr produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches, those will remain in me, and I in them. Will produce fruit, much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. There's nothing like the beauty of God's creation. I mean, imagine sitting on the porch listening to the birds sing, watching the rain fall, or how about breathing in the wonderful smell of flowers blooming in the spring. Roses top the list for me. And caring for mine, it's helped me to better understand the importance of being connected to the vine. I like gardening. It's really satisfying to care for and to grow something that's beautiful to look at or even good to eat. And while I'm no expert, I've had some success at growing things in my yard. But it's the process of pruning that's helped me better understand the verses that Lexi read for us today. So often my understanding of God's Word doesn't come when I'm studying, or praying, or even listening to a message. It comes when I'm doing something uneventful, like baking, or walking, or taking care of the garden. 
and especially caring for, for roses. Uh, there's a few important things to consider when, when caring for, for roses. Uh, good dirt, you gotta have the right kind of dirt with the right amount of nutrients. Water's important too, you know, too much or too little, what's the drainage like? You know, it matters. And pruning, you know, cutting off the dead or diseased parts of the bush regularly, it's important. If you don't manage these things, then no matter how much money's been spent on supplies, the roses will fail to thrive and likely even die by our own hand. It's the same with our spiritual life too. You know, without proper preparation and maintenance, our spiritual life will suffer. It suffers greatly when we neglect it. Uh, roses require spraying and fertilizing to stay healthy. You know, I know, I know firsthand how quickly disease and insects can overwhelm and threaten an entire bush. And it's the same for us. You know, we need to stay close to people who tell us the truth, hold us accountable, encourage us to keep going and not to give up. Hard days still happen and they're still gonna be hard, but it's possible for them to be filled with peace and strength despite the challenges. Uh, you know, despite their beauty, uh, roses can be very painful to harvest too, uh, but enduring the pain of, the, of their thorn uh, is worth it, at least it, in my experience, they've been worth it. It's a good reminder for me that even the best things in life often have some pain associated with them. But if I focus on the beauty of life, and that's easier to do when I practice gratitude, but when I practice gratitude, the hard and painful parts are so much more bearable. You know, pruning allows roses to thrive. It increases the beauty of each bud and promotes overall health to the plant. The more we prune, the easier it is to see the brown, dry, dead-looking branches compared to the green and healthy ones. There's always way more dead branches than I thought. They're just hidden. In the process of pruning, it might seem horrifying to the untrained eye. You know, you cut so much of the growth back that the plant looks dead, but the pruning makes way for new growth. There are always gonna be seasons of pruning in our lives, and pruning's often painful. Jesus understands pain and suffering, and he walks with us through the process. Pruning can also bring grief, and it's okay to give ourselves time and space to grieve what we're letting go of or what we're losing. We can experience peace in the middle of the pain by leaning into Jesus. What needs to be pruned for you to bear more fruit? What needs to be pruned so that you can have more joy or be more loving? We all have dead or dried up stuff that's damaging to us, stuff that's ugly and it hides beauty. Things like unforgiveness and pride, judgment, dishonesty, thoughts and attitudes that steal our energy and rob us of joy. They make it difficult to grow and produce good fruit. It affects us and it affects our relationship to the vine, to the Father. When we embrace honesty, acceptance, hope, faith, courage, love, perseverance, and prayer, we thrive. Even when life is hard, we can thrive. God wants to cut out, cut out the things that aren't good for us. He, he wants, wants to remove anything that keeps or prevents us from staying connected to Jesus. Let's pray. God, just thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the examples that we have in scripture. Thank you for the, the beautiful pr picture about um, uh, a vine and branches and, and the relationship that we have to you. It's just so helpful. Thank you for the beauty that we have around us for roses and for fruit. Um, thank you for loving us, uh, God. And we just lift all this up, amen. Uh, next, we're gonna do Standing on the Promises. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God, my Savior
Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises I cannot fall Listening every moment to the Spirit's call Resting in my Savior as my all and all Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God, my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God We're going to be singing, I've got the joy in my heart. I've got got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. going to do uh, In the Garden. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as he tarries there no other has ever known he speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, no other has ever known. We will uh, turn uh, our eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strangely dim 
in the light of His glory and grace. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory. Before we end our time together, I'd like to pray a blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. See you next time. Eee!